This is the New Egypt Speedway Tech area, and this is where it all went down last week. Right now it's empty, but later on this evening, you'll have over a dozen cars go through here where the tech inspectors will look for anything to, these guys will use to try and bend the rules to try and get an edge on each other to try and win a feature event here at New Egypt Speedway. So, tell us what the sale panels are about. Tom, you run them, do they make a difference? I don't know. I've never ran a car without them, but um, I, I would imagine this big body does give it some side force, sure. Some yeah. aerodynamic advantage. Within the rules, they got to be how high from the top to the bottom. I have no idea. Never looked at the rule book. <laughs> they have a rule book? I yeah, think it would be an advantage, but I, I, I don't think Billy needs an advantage. He's going to, he's the best. And you know what? I, I don't think that. If he took the sail panels off, I think he'd still be doing the same thing. So um, I did feel a little bit of a difference. Um, I think it definitely kept the car more in line in the middle of the corners. Uh, not so much side bite or forward drive or anything that would make the car add as an advantage. But I think it just kept the car more in line with the, the Air Force. So. Out on the racetrack, a little older occasion, wasn't the first time probably won't be the last time Jim you want to elaborate on that a little bit what happened out on the track last week uh, just a case of sour apples you know uh, Rocco gets mad when anybody passes him um, everybody here kind of knows that um, he's a loud mouth he's a hothead he don't know when to keep his mouth shut um, if he put as much time into running his mouth and talking um, into his car he'd probably be a little bit faster but uh, I don't know. I got under him clean. I know we've had our, our rivals, uh, you know, our rivalry recently. You know, I, I got past him clean, never touched him. You know, going into one, he turned me sideways. I wasn't sure if it was intentional or not. You know, I gathered it back up. Then we went down into turn three, and he complete me, completely took me out. Um, not only myself, um, probably three or four other cars uh, were just riding around in the back trying to finish out the race. You know, the um, reason why I got so mad and uh, went back after him because of the fact of how much work I got to do to my car now, and not to mention the, the poor guys in the back. You know, the guy at the 96 cars first week week back, car's beautiful. Guy's got to turn me around, destroy that guy's car. You know, we're only starting the races with 21, 22 cars here on a Saturday night. Why do we need to wreck any more? And, uh, you know, if that's the way he wants to play, that's fine. You know, uh, we're both grown men when he comes back here, or if we're somewhere else, if he wants to take a walk outside the gate and we just settle it fair and square that way then we'll walk outside the gate anybody can be a tough guy and get out of their car but we were both told to stay in our cars otherwise we were going to lose a week this is what my grandfather lives for we come here week in and week out so for me to get out of my car and sacrifice him losing a week watching what he wants to watch you know doing what we love you know it really it really wasn't worth it you know we like i said we could just walk out outside at the end of the night and and, and square up if that's what he wants to do